up Dani here and welcome back to my channel today we are gonna do a manga haul as usually I do have to say though I think I have to skip next month's manga haul because I spent way too much money to book my flight to England with hotel and everything so I went way over my usual limit so I think I have to step back and not get any manga this month because yeah too much money is going out of my account at the moment for everything else so I'm just gonna take a break from manga buying for a month and get back to it next month also when I'm going to England which will be at the end of next month uh, I'm definitely gonna buy some manga and comics when I'm there so I will definitely have a haul up after I'm back from England so but yeah without further ado let's get to the manga haul and the mangas I acquired in the last weeks so here we go First up, we have two series where I'm trying to get a couple volumes every month because there's loads of volumes out and I have to catch up as soon as possible so I can relax and get into other stuff. But yeah, the first manga I'm gonna show is Magi Volume 8 and Volume 9. As you can see that's all I have so I'm way behind but yes I haven't even started this manga yet which is just really funny because I really hope I'm gonna love it because I will I am having nine volumes of this and I haven't started yet which is like the first series I'm ever doing this um, so yes usually I'm reading the first manga first volume and see if I like it and then buy more but I have high hopes in it, everyone loves it, and the covers look amazing. So, yes, I pray that I love it, because it would be terrible if I'm not, because of all the money I spent. But yeah, Magi Volume 8. This, this art is so pretty, honestly. I'm actually really excited to start getting into this. I do love Aladdin and all this, this whole universe and everything. So I am excited to see what this is really about. It's so cute. But yeah, I've heard good things all the time. So I'm excited to get into this, definitely. So yeah, Magi volumes eight and nine. And the other series I'm trying to get caught up is a series I started reading so I already know I like it and I've heard it's gonna get better as well so I'm excited so yeah the next manga I'm gonna show is Food Wars volume 7 and volume 8 also these covers are amazing the whole art in this is just incredible I love it so much I'm always getting hungry when I read this. It's just so well done. And I'm really excited to continue reading. I've only read the first four volumes, so I'm way behind. But yeah, these covers are absolutely beautiful. This art is amazing. I really, really love it. So I am definitely, definitely excited to get back into this. So cool. Also, I love the different colors on the spines all on the shelf. So this is gonna look really good once I have all the volumes. But yeah, Food Wars volume seven and eight. Also really excited to get back into this. Then I have another series with incredible art, but there's no surprise there and that is a platinum end volume 4 yes I'm still getting that one uh, these covers are amazing I just love that 
glittery cover feel it has can't even see it because it's too bright in here but yeah definitely love these covers and yeah there's nothing to say about the art by Takeshi Obata because we all know it's awesome so yes I do really like this so I'm gonna continue reading it I just love these covers they're so beautiful but yep yeah, Platinum End Volume 4 then I've got another series I really really like and these omnibuses are so heavy and they're so pretty and I can't wait to continue reading this series either and that is Blade of the Immortal Omnibus 4 I'm trying to always get these when they come out or try to stay up to date because Dark Horse you never know so yeah I will get Omnibus 5 I think it's already out I'm not even sure but yeah I will get it as soon as possible but yeah Blade of the Immortal amazing series can't wait to continue this I've read the first two Omnibuses so that's six volumes so yeah, I still have a lot to read, but I am excited. These are so heavy. It's like they're really nice. I really like these releases. And then speaking of another omnibus, a series I haven't started reading yet either, but I know I will love it because everyone does and I'm hella excited. I think I'm probably going to start reading this very soon so yes that is monster volume 3 these releases are beautiful so I am very excited to read this to start reading this oh I didn't see that this page is see-through that's cool I haven't have actually properly looked at these releases yet because I haven't started reading it yet so but I really like it I like the whole omnibus it's a really nice quality and yes I've heard a lot of good things about this a lot of people love it they add it to their favorite series so I'm definitely excited to start reading this very very soon I'm just gonna get a few volumes so I can kind of binge so yes but monster volume 3 then we have a volume I haven't been picking up for a while I haven't been reading for a while I'm falling a little bit behind with that series but it's okay I will get back to it very soon but it's a series I really truly love and it's kind of part of my life it's everywhere in my art and anime and reading and I'm just I love all these characters and I'm thinking about it a lot so yes but I finally got volume 19 of Haikyuu and can we just appreciate this cover of Tsuki these covers are awesome this one and I think it's 16 with Tadashi on the cover I love these covers with the crowds in the back and they're just so cool and I'm excited because this looks like it's gonna be um, centered around Tsuki so I'm definitely excited for this I love this character so much I love him so yes I am terribly can you say terribly excited I'm very excited for this one to read this again and I need to get 20 and 21 as soon as possible but yes Haikyuu volume 19 then the last volume for this haul I know it's not a big one but yeah uh, but the last 
release the last volume i am very very excited that it's getting an english release and i am very excited to read it and uh, that is the first volume of silver spoon um i think it's by the creator of full metal alchemist so but this seems to be like something so different it's more a slice of life i have read a few chapters and i just loved it it, it reminds me of Borakamon, so i'm excited for this slice of life i did buy the first 13 volumes in Japanese when it still wasn't announced that there was an English release so I bought it as a Japanese release to learn so I actually have as you can see I have the whole first 13 volumes in Japanese as well but I'm very excited to have an official English release now so look at the size difference, it's just so amazing to see the Japanese ones and the English ones being so different. And yet they have the same covers and pages. But yeah, the Japanese ones are just so cool. I just love these slip covers on here. But yeah, I'm so excited for this to finally really read this and to have this as an english release an official release and yes i am probably gonna do a first impression on this one once i've read it but yeah silver spoon so hyped for this so hyped for this i'm so happy it's getting a release but yeah that is already it for my haul it's not a lot as I said, I think it's nine volumes. And yeah, next month or this month, I'm not gonna get any manga. So, yes, you have to wait a little bit for another manga haul until May when I'm back from England. But I know I will buy quite a few volumes there. So, I'm gonna do a haul right after I'm back. But yeah, this is it for this video. These are the volumes I have gotten in the last weeks. And I'm excited to read all of these. And yes, this is it for this video. I hope you liked it and I hope to see you soon in another one. Bye!